time for our Cup of Joe. And today, we're going to talk about tarantulas. Yep, they provoke a lot of fear in people. Just think of that 1955 science fiction movie, Tarantula, in which a rogue scientist carries out some experiments to try to find some super nutrient that will nourish humanity forever. Some reminiscences of Frankenstein, because as you can imagine, things go astray. He's fooling around with some radioactive materials in order to try to produce this miraculous product. But it has an unexpected side effect. It causes acromegaly, an unexpected growth because of overproduction of growth hormone. And of course, at first he experiments on animals, including the tarantula. And the tarantula that he experiments on grows to an absolutely giant size, and it terrorizes the town. It seems that nothing works against it until the Air Force comes around and uh, blasts it with napalm, and then it incinerates. This was in the 1950s when people were scared of radioactivity. They were worried about napalm, so it made for a good story. But you know what? There are people who fear ordinary tarantulas as well. They're arachnophobics. And Sean Connery, of all people, was one of these. And when they filmed Dr. No, which was the first James Bond movie, there was a scene that you may recall in which it wasn't a giant tarantula. It was an ordinary tarantula that terrorized him. And it was crawling towards him in the bed. And in order to film that, they actually had to put a piece of glass in between the actor and the tarantula because he had such a fear. Well, the reason people have this fear is because they think that if they get bitten by a tarantula, well, they're on their way to the undertaker. This is not the case. It is certainly not a pleasant experience. It is worse than a bee string, but it is not lethal. While tarantulas are venomous, they do not kill people. In fact, that venom, which is a string of amino acids called the polypeptide, may actually be a savior for some people, savior from pain. Amazingly, some Australian researchers have recently published a paper where they examined the venom and its ability to reduce pain. And by chemically manipulating this venom, they may be able to come up with a drug that is as effective as opiates, but it is not addictive. It's going to take a few years before this can come to fruition, but maybe it will go some way to restoring the reputation of tarantulas. And incidentally, those stories that you may have heard about some tarantula, they call it arachnus gluteus, emerging from public toilets to bite people on the rear, well, this is total nonsense. And uh, this circulates around the internet, making some people the butt of a joke. So that's our story for today. Maybe a bit more respect for tarantulas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.